Hi, good morning. Um, I lead product for Kubernetes, which is an open source project and a commercial product from Google Cloud. And I want to talk to you about why open source software is important to the public cloud in particular. So openness is not a new concept. It was a key design principle for the internet. In 1974, when Vint Cerf, who now works at Google, published this description of the internet, he said that TCP IP, on which the internet is based, was going to be available to anyone, anytime, without barriers. And they didn't take any patents or IP. This commitment to openness really opened up a whole new world of interconnection on which Google is based and from which you and I benefit through the exchange of ideas, information, and photos and videos through the open internet. The decision to make the internet based on open standards were fundamental to making it available universally. And we believe that a similar open, openness decision will lead to the universalness of the public, the public cloud. So there are millions of open source projects. Not all of them are super successful. The real question is, which projects matter? Here are some observations that we've made on making projects that matter. Number one is openness. That means that you're both giving and receiving code and ideas. This isn't easy to do, particularly if you have strong engineers. But ultimately, taking ideas and sharing yours makes the whole stronger. Second is actually freedom. So if you're holding a trademark or some set of patents back, that usually does not create the most successful project. And then the really hard parts, which are fostering an ecosystem and creating a diverse and thriving open source community. So the project that I work on, Kubernetes, we think is on the way to becoming one of these successful projects. And why is that? So it provides a useful technology it does something that essentially it's a tool for managing clusters of containers across multiple VMs or across multiple host machines. And that's useful. And Google has a lot of experience doing that technically. But really what's made Kubernetes successful so far is the fact that it not just runs on Google's cloud, but it runs anywhere. It can run on your laptop. It runs on other public clouds. It runs on premises in private data centers. So that's critical to its adoption. But I think the most important piece is that Kubernetes has developed an open community that has broad industry support. So what are the steps that we took to creating such an ecosystem? Number one, we open sourced Kubernetes, separated it from Google, and gave the trademark to an open source foundation, the Cloud Native Compute Foundation, the CNCF. Also, we worked as a community to organize a distributed technical decision-making structure. So the community is divided up into special interest groups, each of which is a combination of multiple companies that make technical decisions. So there's no one company or one or two set of companies that are in charge. And that really opens us up to new ideas. New ideas can come from individuals. They can come from anywhere in the world. And lastly, governance, which is something that's an ongoing piece for us. It really requires a lot of work. Each of these pieces, governance, development processes, IP management, they're not done with central control. They're done as a group and in the open. An example of this is the Kubernetes conformance and certification program, which is something that we're working on currently. Why is this important? So users rely on Kubernetes to work on any of these clouds. Today, it's a very popular product, a very popular open source project with 50 plus distributions. 
How do we make sure that a user can find a distribution that's going to work across clouds and across other distributions? That's what conformance is about. It's essentially the community getting together to develop a test suite that anyone can self-certify against. A vendor can certify their distribution, and a user can use the test suite to know if their code will run on Kubernetes anywhere. And it's backed up by a certification mark that the CNCF owns and will enforce. Ultimately, we're putting forth conformance to ensure that the project has longevity and that it is portable so that there's not one company but many that control and support the code. So, you know, users will really benefit in a multi-cloud world. I think you can all see that because they'll have choice and they can run their code anywhere they want. But at Google, we believe that actually the public cloud itself will benefit from openness. And in fact, the collaboration and the freedom that openness brings is what will ultimately unlock the full potential of public cloud, much as it has done for the internet. Thank you.